welcome back to the channel my name is debra and this is d underscore remember when we said do others one and former head coach of ek's achieves uh, straight backs that we're not seeing eye to eye well that has been confirmed in an exclusive interview between um, mazola mulefe and uh, straight backs there now straight backs claims that uh, Arthur and Dylan backstabbed him while he was still head coach of EK's Chiefs. We really need a lot of time for reflection, was all. I think I think it was pretty clear to me the uh, what was happening and what was going on. Uh, after after I had COVID around the mid the mid the mid season break, uh, I'd realised I'd realised even before then that there were, there were agendas within the club that were that were driving the club in a certain direction and that those agendas were going to be satisfied whether I liked it or not. There were going to be things going on in the background, possibly possibly that it was, it was not what I, what, what I thought was the correct decision, but it was going to be done. And when I came back from COVID, it just... It just went a little bit underground. It just went underground. People undermining, undermining what you're doing. Uh, people backstabbing. People talking to players. People looking for players that I didn't really want or or signings. And so it all went in that direction. So I was aware of that. Arthur Zwani, however, begs to differ and sets the record straight, stating that uh, it is actually Stuart Beck's the son that backstabbed him and not him and Dylan Shepard. I'm a little bit you know, disappointed, when I had, I was, uh, but uh, to be quite honest, I, I don't care. I don't really care simply because we are here, we're in the business of football. You understand what I'm saying? And when I listen to him carefully, about what was said uh, on radio, uh, the problem started when uh, uh, he was sick. So, if I might you to break it down, uh, how it all started, uh, it's, it's simple. He's actually exposing himself, you know, because uh, that weekend we were playing against him because I was also sick, you know, and then Coach Shepi followed, and. Uh, when we were, we were supposed to play a game that won the Cape Town City, I was still recovering, Coach Shepi was still recovering. And uh, when you look at the starting 11 that played against Swallows, um, Dian Dia was in the team. Mm -hmm. Happy Mashiano went in. Uh, many, most of the youngsters played because already we had COVID cases, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and unfortunately, the following week, uh, that number, you know, uh, uh, increased. And um, I was one of the, uh, those who was like uh, 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 sick, and uh, we had to play a game, I think, against Arrows after the Cape Town City game that we couldn't because we didn't have players. Mm. And uh, just before uh, my first day back at training, uh, because now there was obviously a pressure that was coming from outside that we should play in terms of the rules that time, I don't know how I put it. Uh, uh, we had to now uh, get the 11 players. And that time, if my memory serves me well, we had only few players to play. We, when I arrived at, at, at training, we had seven players that were available to play. And those seven players, some of them, you know, were just recovering, just like me, you know, coming from you know COVID uh, situation. And uh, uh, fortunately, uh, some of the players who were also part, you know, you know, if you are in you know, close contact, you know, you you know that you have to sort of like isolate. So some of the players that came back that time, I think we managed to have about 13 players. 13 players were not fit to ready. Uh, I mean, were not uh, fit and ready to play. Uh, 13 players who were battling some of them, and we knew that there was no way that they could even last in the game. We we're actually taking, you know. Uh, chances. Now we had to come up with a starting eleven, and the starting eleven, the, the team couldn't balance in terms of the, the positions, you know. So we had to take players like Jabulok Long into the middle. We had to start with Kosin Kilengobo, you know. We had to start with many other players who were not playing regularly, you know. 
and uh, we only train for one day if my memory serves if my memory you know serves me well we train for one day and then we were playing we played against Skukune and then we <coughs> won against Skukune and uh, as other players uh, now seniors we were also now recovering and uh, the following game uh, the next game I don't know guys please help me you know uh, who, who played against was it uh, was it uh, Royal AM I don't think it was Royal was it Royal AM because I think we played two games mm. you know and then uh, we went to Royal AM we lost 1-0 yes we lost 1-0 mm. and uh, that time uh, when you have players who are much fitter than those who are sick who are come, there was no way we could play players who were not ready to play 90 minutes we had to manage some mm. you understand what I'm saying mm. so but uh, at some point we were told no you have to play this one so how can you want to tell people uh, to play so and so who are not ready when you are sitting at home you're also sick and then you come and say uh, we the team was going the other direction then we came in and changed you know things and no those were the players who were available and those players were available and fit for the game against Real AM. Ata, I'm just going to, to I'm sorry to prolong it Anna. Yeah. after the the Kev Champions League final of yeah. course the fans were saying he spoiled the stew because you guys and Sheppy put in the club currently no I don't think that could be the reason you know uh, uh, we we obviously went into the final hoping that we win the Champions League. It, it doesn't matter who was the head coach of the day. You know, we were all part of it. When we lost, we lost as a team. If we were to win it, we were going to win it as a club. So it wasn't about Adazwani or Stuart Baxter or Coach Shepi. You understand what I'm saying? So if you can like elaborate as to when he says we backstep him, how? Do you understand what I'm saying? Because. We, we thought we were working with someone that we can learn from, uh, someone that will be our mentor. And you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that is why I'm breaking it down for you now to say, uh, when you look back, this, this, that was the situation that time. Those were the players who were available, who were played by him when I was not there, when I was sick mm -hmm. against Swallows. Mm -hmm. So we had to continue because we had just beaten Swallows three or four, in that, uh, I think. Then, we had now that, that the, those challenges where uh, many players now, uh, the number increased in terms of uh, COVID cases. And we had to continue where we left off with those who were available for selection. Others were not available. They did not even come and sit on the bench. We had to take him to Duze and Fabian, I mean, uh, Ian Makati from the development, you know, uh, mm -hmm. just to have numbers in terms of substitutions. And unfortunately, um, uh, we're discussing this today. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed because people, they must just own up. You know, if things did not work out, they did not work out. You don't have to mm. shift the blame and point fingers. He's the one who said he doesn't want, he didn't want the young players. Mm. You understand? And I don't know why he was saying that, but if you want us to, to, to challenge him head on, then we'll do it. Because they come here and disrespect us and expect, expect us to keep quiet. Ata, um, I'm sorry for, for, for actually evoking that emotion when I get to Nyabon, which this matter is far from over, but may you just please let it pass and focus on the good that is coming. I thought you deserve the right of reply because all over the country, word that is going out is that Ata and, and Shepi, they backstep the coach because that's what he told them. His, his son backstep? His son not backstep. us. Yeah. Oh, no. Because he was a problem. No, I see, I see. Yeah. <laughs>